And this is obviously breaking business news. Yeah, because the real breaking news is going on in Kabul, and that's just heartbreaking. Yeah. Um, you know, we just heard that they had an explosion at the airport, and gosh, we need to be praying for, for the people over there. Not only the people that are coming out, but the people that are stuck and staying. And it's just, it's... Yep. It's yep. sad. So we need to keep those folks in our prayers for sure. So with that in mind, exciting. <laughs> thank you <laughs> but for, the, for the segue into interest rates yeah. and unemployment <laughs> stats. Yeah. You said it was quieter. <laughs> so uh, continuing claims are, they were a little above estimates, but it was only like 3000. So they were expecting continuing unemployment claims of 300 and 50,000 and 353 came in. So not a big deal. Not much of a, they weren't off much. Um, I'm sorry. Those were new. Uh, continuing yeah. or still in the 2.8 uh, million range. Uh, I'm, I'm telling you those continuing are going to drop like a rock after September. Cause that's when the, the extensions federal, in yeah. 21 states that still allow it um, are going to be cut off and people will have to go out and get jobs at that point, unless they extend it again. <laughs> well, you know, I'm really, I'm surprised at the amount of people that are really still choosing not to work. I mean, we even, you know, we're searching for a marketing director here and, you know, some accounting help as well. And um, it's just, it's also, it's you know, thin. more help in our, in our loan department. Yeah. I mean, but yeah, it's, it's thin. There's, I mean, when you, I mean, you know, the, the like, it's like you would expect you would suspect there'd be more. And then even with our like today, like we are paying more for these. Some Same of them people. are entry level positions. Mm -hmm. We're paying way more than right. we ever have. Right. And we're still not getting, you know, quality as, or as many applications. Yeah. And we would normally yeah. get, you know, 50 applications for a position. We might get 10 or 10, 15, maybe. That's right. That's right. That's rough. Yeah, no, it's it, everyone that's in business for themselves is struggling to find qualified assistance. It's the truth. I mean, mm -hmm. even the the still the fast food places, all the restaurants, they're limiting their hours just because they don't have staff. Well, uh, Chris Chris Wilson says, "Is it possible that people have decided to work for themselves?" I think that's a piece of it. Oh, I, yeah. I think that. Uh, you know, people have decided to take up that entrepreneurial mm -hmm. spirit mm -hmm. in, you know, in the wake of everything that happened with COVID. I think that's a piece of the answer. I don't think that's the entire answer. Yeah, but that's yeah. a good well, one. Well, don't try yeah. me in, in the gig economy in California, though. Oh, gosh, yeah. <laughs> They're going to make you join a self-employment uh, union, mm. <laughs> apparently. I'm telling you, that state is just amazing. I met a woman that when we were out on our trip. And uh, we're walking in the morning and she was kind of walking in the same direction. And we introduced ourselves. She said, and I'm from California. Let me just first apologize for my state. <laughs> I feel like there's people from Oregon say that to me too. Every time I meet someone from Oregon, they're like, I'm so sorry for what, what our, our governor's doing. I had to laugh at that. <laughs> uh, that said, interest rates are remaining stable. Um, the housing starts. We actually were up year over year mm -hmm. uh, for, for July. I think it was 700 and uh, some change. Uh, new housing sales, actually new housing sales over so, the month mm -hmm. of July. And starts are up too, right? Yeah. Yeah. So and, lumber's down. That's, yeah, that's a piece of it. Another, that's a great, great thing going on for well, sure. Well, lumber is down mm -hmm. a little bit. But, I mean, it's only 65% over what it was. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> not you know, At least it's not 1,400% over what it was. Uh, anymore. Yeah, we, I mean, we, we still have tons of supply chain issues. Uh, we, we have a friend that uh, Glenn Stromberg is in the manufactured housing business, and he's got his thumb on the manufactured housing manufacturers, mm -hmm. and they're... 12 to 14 months out on deliveries. Uh, he was saying that one manufacturer was telling him, I got 10 brand new houses sitting out there in the parking lot and I can't deliver them because I can't get doors. Yeah. yeah it's kind of crazy. Yeah. Even siding. I was picking out siding yesterday for four new houses that um, uh, we bought um, over the past two weeks. And the, the colors, I mean, there's like 14 colors to choose from, but, they only had three of them in stock. 
you oh could, my that you could get a hold of. I was like, wow, that's 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 amazing. My my neighbors, my new neighbors. When I was on my way to the gym yesterday, I stopped by the house because I forgot to pick up. And this is how cheap I am. I forgot to bring some uh, hydration with me. So instead of buying it there at the gym for two bucks, I stopped at the house and got my own. <laughs> I only used four dollars worth of gas. Yes, to do that. Yeah. <clears throat> that, that said, <laughs> I was backing out and Best Buy was delivering a new dryer to my you know, people that just moved in. And as I'm backing out, I rolled down the window and uh, I, I said to the fellows, as expensive as appliances are, I'm surprised they're not sending you out with armed escorts. No, no kidding. No kidding. That's... And now I'm a little worried whether he was thinking that they might be stealing them. Like somebody <laughs> stealing it from them. Yeah. No, that's not what I meant. Yeah. <laughs>